We're going to start by soaking our hands in a glass bowl full of acetone inside of another bowl full of hot water. I was soaking my nails for about, what, four minutes and I started pushing it with the cuticle, getting rid of all the um, loose acrylic now. And this is just how I do my nails. Okay, now I'm going in with a sanding band on a mandrel bit inside of my Melody Susie um, nail drill. Okay, now I'm just filing it off. And this is just how I um, get done with my soak off um, quick. Um, because I'm impatient, so. And I'm out of frame, so excuse me for that. Okay, now I'm going in with my cuticle eliminator. Um, I will leave everything that I use in this video um, in the description box below. Now I'm going in and pushing it through my um, on my nail plate and cuticles. And I'm using a cuticle pusher to do this. Now I'm going in with a pureed alcohol prep pad. I'm going just to wipe my nails off now. Okay, now I'm going in with the cuticle nippers. Um, I don't really like these, kind of always have a hard problem with these as you can see here in the video. And I'm just nipping away at the, um, the dead skin that I see. You don't want to cut live tissue because there can be a risk of infection. And if any of you watched my previous video, these are the nipples, the nippers that I said that are my favorite. So I'm going in now with these. Now I'm going in with that same sanding pen. I'm just going around uh, my cuticles and filing my nail plate um, to get all of the oils off of my nails. This is to get rid of anything that's on the nail plate and also um, start prepping the nails for adhesives. <laughs> start prepping the nails for enhancements for nailing him still. 
um, when I do this, I go um, at my nail drill about five RPMs. Now I'm going in with this cuticle ball bit that came in a um what cuticle um bit kit off Amazon. No, actually this is the bit that came in the kit when I ordered my dream. Now I'm just pushing up that dead skin and going um, over it with the cuticle ball bit. This is my Mia Secret Dehydrator and my Young Nails Protein Bun. I typically go in um, with each of the uh, Mia Secret Dehydrator and Protein Bun by Young Nails. I normally go in twice. Um, when you're applying it, make sure you apply it to the natural nail bed only and not the um, false nail tips. And this is just me dancing. <laughs> Thank you.
Now this that I'm going to be doing, this is my first time of um, choosing this. And it's going to be the red bottom nails. So at first you want to go in with a coat of red um, polish um, on the tip part of the nails. Then you want to cure it and you go over it with the white. The white, um, from from what I looked at on other YouTube videos, the white masks the red coming through. Um, that way the acrylic color um, will be opaque against the red. Make sure you wipe the sides and the under um, area of the nail tip to get rid of the polish off the side walls and under the nail tip. That way it'll keep the shape better. Now I'm showing you how the white looks over the red. Okay, this is my marble ombre. And I <laughs> can't even see like what I'm doing for the most part. But I did leave it here just in case you want to follow along. Now you want to go in and place the bead of acrylic close to the cuticle but not on the cuticle and push it up at the tip of your brush as you can see a little bit there. Okay, I'm just going in here with the tip of my brush going around my cuticle so there's no acrylic stuck to my skin which will cause lifting. If you have any spaces that need to be filled in, just fill it in, get a small bead of acrylic and blend it well. Now I'm just going in and blending some at the base of the nail, the tip of it, and just blending that in as well. Now I'm going in with Young Nails Clear and encapsulating this area. Area. When you're doing a marble and anything with design, you always want to encapsulate, encapsulate the product. That way, when it comes to drilling, you don't fall off your work that you just spent so much work on. Now 
Make sure you wipe any and all areas that has acrylic hanging off the side. So you want to make sure you wipe off the sides and the bottom. And this is just the finished product of application with no filing. Now I'm just going in with the files that I got from my local um, nail supply store. So I don't have a link for these files. But I'm just going in and trying to stabilize my hand the best I can. And when you file, make sure you're filing side to side. So file one side a little, then file the other side. And then just go back and forth um, to be sure they're not lopsided or uneven. Now I'm just going in with this cuticle type, um, cuticle tapered ball bit. I'm just going around my cuticle area. I'm just trying to seal my cuticle off. Now I'm going in with a tapered carbide um, bit that you can go around with your, cuti your cuticle swift. It's a safety bit so you don't have to worry about um, cutting yourself. Now I'm just going in gently and this is on um, seven, um, number seven, so 7,000 RPMs. This bit is also used to take off bulk acrylic and to um, take it off um, quickly.
Now you want to buff good and get rid of any scratches so it don't show through through your top coat. After that, you're going to want to go in with a cured alcohol um, prep pad or just a prep pad of, with um, no lint um, wipe and alcohol or acetone and just wipe that area to get rid of all that dust. Or you can go in with the manicure brush with some swipe or something and just dust it off that way. Now I'm going in with a liner brush I got off Amazon. I'll leave that link below as well. So I'm just taking some gel polish and the brand is Land Flow, so L-A-N-F-O. That's off Amazon as well. Um, so I'm just taking the liner brush, dipping it into the gel polish and creating the lines that I want for my sweater design. Now this little pink palette that you can barely see in the back I made that. I do have a video on that, so if you want to, if you want me to upload that, I will as well. Now, once you're done with the, the lines on your sweater design and you're satisfied with how you like it, do not cure it. You're going to want to take some clear acrylic um, and sprinkle it over it, the, um, the gel design. So you're going to want to fill, um, fill it up full of acrylic, shake it off, and then cure it. Um, once you're done, do you have your sweater design. Okay, this is the finished product. I forgot to take a picture. 